and welcome back to my channel. For those of you guys who are tuning in for the very first time, my name is Kanji Ann. I am a 24-year-old mother of two, and I'm also a military wife. My husband's actually active duty army, and we are currently stationed here at Washington State. So yeah, this is my very first video of 2019, my very first sit-down video of 2019. This video I have had planned and like my little mini notebook for a very long time and I'm finally sitting down and filming it now that I feel as though my life allows me to film this. Um, so yeah, so today I will be sharing with you guys my potty training essentials for my two-year-old son Ansel. We've actually been potty training him since about a week before his second birthday. He turned to August 6th and it's now, what, January 16th. So I would say he's like 75%, 80% potty trained. Um, and I would actually insert the potty that we have up here. And I think I posted a video about the potty that I actually purchased from Target. I vlogged that day. But I will leave that video in the iCards as well as, as well as the description box below. So he uses that potty and he uses that potty faithfully. If he has to pee, he will stop what he's doing and actually go run to his potty. Um, pooping, that is a different story. I think for a week he was pooping in his potty just fine and then all of a sudden he got like terrified. And now it's a struggle to where, you know... Pooping in his potty is like a difficult, it's so difficult for him and I honestly don't know how to get him out of being scared to go to the bathroom or to poop on the potty. But slowly but surely every child is different. With our five year old daughter Ava, she was actually really really easy to potty train. So this is like new territory to us. So yeah, now we are starting a new chapter of actually going out and using the potty in public. Um, and I feel like that's going to be a little bit of a challenge, but some of the things I'm going to show you today has actually made that a lot easier for my husband and I both. And everything that I'm showing you guys, I've actually purchased. Actually, I want to say, yeah, one of the items I actually purchased twice, and we have one in the car, in my husband's diaper bag, and then I have one right here. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get into the essentials. Okay guys, so I don't know if this is actually a potty training essential, but I think that I will be able to use it in his diaper bag even now that we are moving forward with, you know, going to the potty in a public setting. And I went ahead and I purchased these little bags off of Amazon. And I think they were like, they weren't even, they weren't even, you know, these are the bags. They weren't expensive at all actually they're really inexpensive and I honestly thought that they came in different sizes but it's whatever so this one is actually actually says clean and it's like a little orange zipper bag I guess you can put like cleaning clothes in here or like cleaning stuff for when you go out um the material back here I don't even know I don't even know how to describe this clear material back here I guess it's like so you can actually see what's in the bag and then this one says snacks. You can actually, I can actually put all the snacks in this little pouch. And that's pretty cool. And actually when you zip this one up, there's actually like little slots. I don't know if you guys can see that. Like there's like little slots to where you can put like different stuff inside. I thought that was really cool and I just realized that. But mainly I will be using this for basically like the dirty, the dirty pouch. Just because I know that with there's going to be accidents, of course, Ava had accidents in public, so I never had a little pouch to put dirty clothes in or soiled clothes. So this material, I feel as though if a poopy, a blowout, or he peed on himself, I can just throw the dirty clothes in here and I can actually wash it in the washing machine. So I can put like all of my dirty clothes in here and it will be just fine I don't have to worry about it messing up his backpack or diaper bag or anything like that and I think honestly I think it's actually smart for me to go ahead and buy a set for my husband just because just so he can have something in his car and not have to have soil clothes in his diaper bag or in his car and it also has one that has toys 
and then this one has the one that says diapers in it and i think in this pouch i'm gonna keep his pull-ups his wipes and his big boy undies and honestly i will keep a spare pair of clothes and um his backpack as well i feel like that is a must okay guys moving on i have this portable potty seat cover that i got off of amazon and i will be linking every single thing that i mentioned in this video in the description box so if you guys are interested you guys can go ahead and find it i don't even know how to pronounce this brand it is virus 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 i don't know but anyways this little portable potty seat actually comes in this little pouch right here which is really convenient because nobody wants to throw a dirty potty seat in a diaper bag so when i get done with it you just kind of put it in here and like tighten it up and throw it inside their diaper bag or their backpack or whatever the case may be but yeah the potty seat actually comes in another protective zip lock case right here and i got the green one i think it comes in green blue yellow and pink if i'm not mistaken or just green blue and pink and maybe orange i'm not for sure um but it comes in this little pouch right here which is also extremely convenient this is the second one that i purchased one my husband actually has which he has the blue one and i have the green one since green is personally my favorite color and you actually just set this on the seats in the public restroom and that way it's actually like a smaller hole for your for your toddler to actually sit on and I've tested the blue one out with my son Ansel and I've actually put it on the seat in our bathroom and he was extremely comfortable. I've tried putting him on the potty seats in a public bathroom without this cover and he completely freaks out, which what kid wouldn't? Like you were just like this little tiny little human being um, on this huge potty and you feel like you're gonna fall in. So he's a lot more comfortable with this seat. It actually folds up as well. So you can go ahead and fold it up and then put it back into the zip, the zip, clear zip bag. The clear zip bag and then once you get done with it, you can go ahead and put it back in the um, container that it comes with. And um, I would personally wipe it off with like a Clorox wipe or a baby wipe just to make sure it's actually clean. And that one was super affordable as well. So yeah, guys, the next item that I'm going to show you guys is actually an idea for my brother Davion. He actually passed it on to Joseph and I, and Joseph, and Joseph was all like, yeah, let's go ahead and get this item. It is actually a little kid urinal, and you actually stick it on the bathroom wall with these little um, suction cup things. And it has like this little thing right here, with, and it actually flips. I don't know if you guys can see that, but it actually flips and your kid can practice aiming um i do hope by ansel's third birthday he is standing up like a big boy and going to the bathroom and this is just going to be practice for him and it was really really inexpensive you guys like i wasn't going to spend no more than 15 dollars on this and i honestly think i got this for like nine on amazon two day shipping you guys with primes like but anyways, it doesn't have a little area down here where the pee comes out to drain. So you will have to take this little part off, which this part actually removes. Dump it out, clean it out, rinse it out or whatever, and then put it back onto this. So I thought that this was really, really cool. Again, super inexpensive. So the next items that I um, purchased, I actually purchased these a while ago, and he just started using these as practice were these little boy underwear like i don't know if these tidy whities i don't know got these from walmart and they are you know little, little tidy whities underwear and they were really inexpensive i think got them for a pack of 10 i want i want to say a pack of like eight or ten from walmart and they were like eight dollars and these are just in practice underwear for and so they're not named brand i honestly think they are the walmart brand granimals let me see yeah granimals and i got this for him to practice and he has had accidents in these but let me tell you guys the minute he you know had an accident on himself sorry there was a hair that was in my face like i was saying the minute he has an accident he honestly hates it so i think he's had a total of three accidents and honestly 
he hasn't really had accidents in these again. These are just a few, um, you know, they're really inexpensive. I wasn't really going for a name brand pack of underwear. I just wanted a large quantity for cheap that fit my son that served the purpose. And once he's fully 100% potty trained, um, I will go ahead and buy him some more. But just for right now, we just wash these and use them and they serve its purpose for now. Okay guys, so I have a lot of products in my hands right now and it's from the brand Can Do. I want to say I purchased some of these from Target and some of them from the commissary. But starting off, I have these Can Do wipe dispensers with wipes in there. And I think this smells like... It smells so good. I think it's grapes. And these are personally for Ansel. And I feel as though you have to reward your child and just give them something that's just theirs so they know that, hey, this is just mine. And he knows that we use these to wipe his bum, um, you know, here and there. And he knows that these are just his personal little wipes and that's something that he doesn't have to share with Ava. And with these, I also have some refillables to put in there. And these are really inexpensive as well. I think these were no more than $6. And you just put them, open them, and put them back into the container. Sorry, my hands are full right now, so I can't really show you guys. Um, and up next, we use these little flushable wipes when we are out in public. Or we are going to use them when we're out in public because they're flushable. And of course, baby wipes. Sorry, the sun. Oh my god. Let me see if I can close this really quick. Okay, guys. Sorry, the lighting's gonna be kind of a little bit dim. I apologize for that. But anyways, we use we are going to use these little flushable um, wipes when we are out in public because, of course, baby wipes you can't flush them down the toilet. Um, so I think that's gonna be really, really convenient as well as we have this can do hand soap that him and Ava both use. I mean, originally it was just for him, but. I didn't want to deprive Ava so this scent is funny berry and it kind of just smells like grapes and berries and they both use this hand soap after washing hands I think that's also important to teach your kids like after you go potty you need to wash your hands so Ansel knows like once he goes to the potty he already goes to um, get ready to wash his hands as well so I have two items that I don't have with me right now. One is actually in their bathroom and then one, the other one's actually downstairs. First one being the Dum Dum Lollipops. Um, I got a huge bag of them and those are just Ansel's rewards. I, when he poops, now it's more so when he poops in the potty, he knows that he will get a sucker and I feel like the little tiny suckers that they can just lick for a little bit and just so he knows that those are his reward when he goes to poop on the potty. One thing I will tell you guys, if you have a certain reward for your child, don't give it to them for, don't just give it to them for them to be quiet, don't give it to them to keep, you know, you know, just to give it to them. Just know that, hey, this treat is for a certain task, and if I complete this task, then I get the treat. We don't, we honestly don't confuse it. Like, we don't just give it to him whenever he wants it. I'm like, no, if you want this candy, you have to poo-poo in the potty. So now he kind of knows that, which is awesome. And I'll also show a picture of the bag just in case you guys are wondering what are Dum Dum Lollipops. But I'm pretty sure majority of you guys do know. Number two, we have an actual potty seat to cover that's in their bathroom. Ava and Ansel actually share a bathroom. It's actually the Paw Patrol theme. And it's like a portable potty seat you can just put on the toilet. And you can take it around the house or whatever, but it's just in their bathroom. And it's actually hanging on the side of the toilet. So whenever Ansel needs to go to the bathroom, he can just take it off and put it on the toilet himself. Or Ava can help him do that. I will show a picture up here as well, just so you guys know what I'm talking about. Okay, you guys. So next up are, of course, now I wouldn't say like these are, well, these are essentials when potty training. Duh. I have these pamper pull-up diapers. These are so handy like they're kind of like underwear so you have to pull them up and they actually get it also helps Ansel practice for when he's pulling up his big boy undies as well these are the pamper brands and I mean I like the pamper and huggies brand 
but I'm more so liking the Pamper brand just because it has like this kind of like an underwear material, I want to say. So, yeah, and the theme for this one is just Thomas the Train. And I got to get these in a pack of 74 ounces in a size 6 right now. And lastly, I just, I buy diaper, I, I mean, I buy these wipes in bulk, not just for ounces, because all of us in the house use baby wipes. And these are just the Huggies One and Done um, Pamper Wipes. I absolutely love One and Done. They're extremely wet and moist, and they just get the job done with one wipe and they're not dry I, I hate a dry baby wipe biggest pet peeve like you you can't even wipe the mouth these are extremely extremely moist extremely wet um when using them so definitely suggest getting a pack of pull-ups some diaper some wipes and also affordable not affordable but um flushable wipes as well so yeah guys, that pretty much concludes the video. These are all the items that have made Joseph and I's life 10 times smoother while potty training. And what I've learned throughout this potty training um, experience with the little boy is that what you probably, the techniques that you used with your previous child, especially a child of the other gender, probably won't work with your child now. And you have to figure out what they're comfortable with, what makes them happy, what, you know, what gets them going when it comes to something like this, what makes them comfortable when doing this. And that has been a struggle. And we, Joseph and I, still have a, a ways to go with Ansel, but it's the fact that we are trying to make sure he's comfortable. We're trying to be eye level with him so he knows that going to the bathroom isn't a bad thing and staying consistent if that's one thing i can tell you guys is stay consistent if you have to set an alarm on your phone for every 30 minutes to an hour do it consistency is key with potty training no doubt but yeah if you guys like these kind of videos please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you were new to view more content like this it's a new year i have so many different kind of videos to bring to my channel Especially now that we are settled into our new home, I'm not as tired as I was from unpacking and putting stuff away, throwing boxes away, and, and also with my mother coming, it was just a little, little bit hectic, hectic in our house, but hopefully you guys like this content, and I will see you guys in my very next video. Bye guys.